Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 31st of August 2020 and the reading is dedicated to the sign of Aquarius. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest of it aside. If however you do have any questions you would like to have a personal reading, you're in search of uh, some guidance, some clarity, please do contact me at romancevilletarot at gmail.com and be my great pleasure to send you the um, necessary information. Also, if you look into the YouTube drop box right below the video, you will find all the necessary information also in order to contact me. On a different note, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. It is always greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. What we want to know here is we want to get some advice. We want to get some advice on your relationship right now and for the near future. So I'm using here a fairy oracle deck and I'm also using a lover's oracle deck. So let's turn these cards over and see what I could get as information of lovely messages for you. I have sanctuary, I have patience, I have strength, I have power and I have reflection. Now I'm going to say this again here. This is a general reading. It might not apply to you, but I do have to say that um, it, there seems to be an awful lot of hurt, an awful lot of pain, and it seems to be a moment of wanting to turn the page is what I'm getting as a quick message here. So let's just go um, go on card by card. I'm going, to, um, I'm going to talk to you about it a little bit and we're going to assess the whole situation here. So let's just begin with the strength card. Now strength is really is is born from the will. It's the will of the heart, of course. And strength is is really it's born from the sheer will of the heart. Nothing else, okay? Willpower is that inner engine that just propel propels that tour de force, let's put it that way, of our lives. What so makes you move forward. Now it's up to you to choose to live tormented and troubled or triumphly. So overcoming resistance through your inner strength, okay? And it's gonna lift you up, it's gonna open your mind to a clear and more favorable life path. Now, inner strength will come to you when you realize that, you know, you're in control of your destiny. You need to imagine yourself um, really like you're the one who has complete control over what it is that you want. What is it that you want in your life, in your destiny? You need to use that strength. You need to tap into it and you need to, if there are any fears, you need to pass over it. You need to use your strength to move forward. Okay. Very, very important. Now, we're going to move over to the, um, I'm going to move over to sanctuary now. A sanctuary is really about a place where we're going to be all by yourself, okay? Within your heart, it's a space of regenerating where the sanctuary awaits. This is really within your heart. Um, this is the refuge. If It's a sanctuary that entices you to listen to the calm of your heart, which is going to guide you into a state of peace because this is, I feel as though there's a lot of turmoil going on here. And through sanctuary, feelings of anxiety and turmoil can be put to rest by connecting to the healing and to the rehabilitating essence of your inner silence. Now, there are times in your life when you feel overwhelmed, when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling alienated. Um, and I have to say, either from yourself or from others into the relationship here, or even people that are around you. And at such, such times, you're going to find nurturing sanctuary is going to be awakening, but only if you seek it out, okay? And the sanctuary of the heart can lead you to finding an outer sanctuary, okay? So very, very important. It doesn't always have to be an inner. It can also be an outer. And to finish it up, we're going to go with a patience card because we all know that we all need patience into our lives, right? And it's so very important into the relationship right now. And I feel as though you really do need this right now. Patience is born from the calm of an unwavering will. This is what it is. It's a transformation of self through awareness. It's the art of foresight before the action uh, with a consideration of understanding all the options and all the outcomes. This is what you have to be doing right now.
It's having patience. It includes the ability to learn how to control your impulses. It's truly a lesson of self-control. Reactions and impulsive feelings occur every single day, but what counts is really how you act upon them. Okay, So this is very, very important to have that patience. Just let things go as they should. Go with the flow. Don't exaggerate anything. Just go one step at a time. If you're feeling like you're getting impatient, you're having a fight, you're having an argument, take a step back, take a break, come back a little bit later on. Go to your sanctuary or go to your moment of peace where you're all by yourself, where you can find all your information, where you can listen to your heart again and find that strength that you have within you. We all have it. I know you don't always believe that you have it, I know the card is not here, but I do know that there is a lack, a certain lack of self-confidence also. So you do need to gain all of that. Okay. This is all about you. Gain your strength, gain that patience, gain that self, um, that self-confidence. Use that sanctuary to find all of your answers to make your relationship better or to simply decide what you're going to do. Because as I said, I do feel as though this relationship here, um, um, is not going all that well right now. And I, I also have power. You inst- instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This is your power. This is your strength. You can do that. You never have to say if you're not feeling comfortable, if you're not feeling right, if you feel like you're at an end. Um, and the reflection, you must give each other some, some space at the moment. You must trust. You must have faith that all is going to work out for the best. So I do believe that, as I said, there are some issues here. I think at some point you're going to have to take a little break. You're going to have to find yourself. You're going to have to find your answers. You're going to have to find your courage to move forward, to find the solutions together as a couple uh, if you want this relationship to continue. So that being said, this does conclude your reading. I hope that I was able to give you some um, interesting advice that you're going to be able to apply to your relationship and to your life. If you do have any questions, you'd like a reading, Romanceful Tarot, at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do wish you a fantastic day. Thank you so very much for being there and uh, I'll see you just a little bit later on. Thank you.